Don't blink it, boy. Welcome to the book of the show. Guys, you guys are having a fantastic freaking day, and I know what you're saying. Why call this a victory? It is a victory. I'm feeling very serene today, and this is the classic act of a dude who is run by his emotion, right? Happiness, sadness. Today it's happiness, and we're celebrating. It's a victory against life itself. Um, why are we making this video? You see, we always question life. I feel like it's very human to question life, but which is a video on the natural need of conquering and pleasing, which is really weird, right? Uh, for an introvert like myself, very weird. Um, so you see, I've always been questioning. One of my biggest questions was, is 31 years old? So technically, I started making content at 28, right? It's not gonna hide it, it's a bit late. I always wondered, is it, is, it's a bit late, but is it too late? And you know what? I have to say, I have one change a thing. And I know this is blowing me blowing my own horn. And I know this is me saying all the things that I want to hear. Okay. This is a self-pleasing video. This is a uh, video. Um, it's pretty simple. See, the problem with the problem with life at 31, if I was doing it at 20, at 20 I was working two jobs, I didn't care. And yes, I know I make a lot of videos, but you would have seen, and I know I know this is I'm in a good mood today. Okay, so we had a monster energy uh, slushy, which is possibly why we have so much energy. Possibly. Most likely not. And uh, it is a pleasure because that energy is bringing us, and that positivity is unstoppable. That energy and negativity doesn't do shit. That positivity is unstoppable. See, at 21, at 20 years old, I would have done twice the videos that would have been twice as confusing, right? I would still be the same person, still be very positive, very, very different. Which brings us to a question. What would that be like? And the answer is pretty simple. We'll never know. We'll never know what it would like to be an infant at 20. We'll never know what it's like to be an infant at 25. All we know is being an infant at 28. It might be late, right? I would have loved to start earlier to put in those hours. I would have loved to start earlier before all the bullshit of YouTube. But at the same time, there is one positive thing. The positive thing is experience. Think about it, the video game. Right? We all, you know what's in common? We all play video game. We know the simple logic of experience points and level. You can hear I'm a gamer, you can hear I'm a nerd. I got braces and I got glasses. You can see the braces because my mustache is made to discern your thoughts, to, um, to do a diversion. I was looking for the diversion word. <laughs> At 21 years old, um, the experience is super important. Question like, who am I? Um, wait, something is itching me. What is that W-H-I? W-A-I? Who am I? Yeah. 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 This was a question that I asked myself. I've been through shit and it made me stronger. You see, there's a lot of things in life that I didn't experience. Truth. There's a lot of things in life that I should have experienced, also true. But there's some experience in life that made me a better person, right? And at 21 years old, Ink Vendetta, although it's the only Ink Vendetta in existence, I'm pretty happy that I'm here. It is a bit late, but we're celebrating because, again, I could share with you guys. I'm seeing a lot of my, uh, this is going to be corny as fuck. I shouldn't say this, uh, corny as fuck. I'm 31 years old, and I get I get messages from people that are very young, um, and I can see myself as a older brother, and um, as a young boy. When I was a young boy, all I want was a bigger brother to teach me wonders way. Could have told me how to flirt, how to get a girl, and how to keep a job. Yes, but he wasn't there. I always wanted a big brother to teach me the ways. And guess what? Sometimes you always want something just to realize that you're the one supposed to give it. Am I saying I'm the example to follow? No. Am I saying I'm perfect? No. Am I saying I'm going to try to be the best big brother you guys have? Yes. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. See, one of the best... It's weird. It is weird. It is weird. We're late for TikTok, but it's weird. When I saw... I was looking at GMM. When the GMM? Good to come morning. Red and Link. What are the papas of YouTube? And... I was watching the comments out of a need of social interaction, of course, as we do. Um, and I was watching one thing, one very simple thing. 
Somebody said something that changed my perception. Get on my YouTube dad. When I saw that, I was like, that's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Right? However, I thought it was a bit weird when it was a positive thing. See, you don't choose your parents. You don't choose your father. You don't choose your mom. You don't choose your stepdad. You don't choose two of your stepmom that ended up being together for whatever reason, right? But I digress. I digress. You don't choose your parents. What if you were able to choose your parents? All right. Mingo the father on YouTube is a good role model. And I know... I know that no matter how confusing this channel is, no matter how many videos of, of mine are shitty, no matter how many videos of mine are complete mess, no matter how confusing I can be as a person, I know one thing. The intention behind all of them, as a 31 years old, is to help people. See, you can call this selfish. You're going to be able to call this narcissistic. You're going to be able to call it whatever you want. The only reason I want to help people, the only reason why I'm seeing this as an opportunity to be a big brother, it wasn't always the it wasn't always the channel goal, right? But it's a goal right now. Is it gonna be the goal in a year? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is right here, right now. The reason why I want to do that, I needed help. I needed a role model. I needed somebody to teach me the way. And I had no one. And then there's this other question. If I had myself I'd be a better person or a, or a worse person. It's a risk I'm willing to make. I think the greatest victory are the one born of defeat. I think of the sentence every day, no guts, no glory. Maybe what I'm putting out there is a negative message. Maybe what I'm putting out there is something that is truly horrible. Maybe not. I'll never know. I will never ever know. In a good, in a good way, the intention, I'm always talking about intention. The intention being good means that the result should be going, going good. And even if I fail, even if I fail, even if I'm not the, the role model I want to be, there's still this two question. What if, and you do, did you do your best? What if, I will never know. Did I do my best? Absolutely. Anywho, time for TikTok Live. We're already late, but such is life. There's no schedule of life. There's no time to take the train. To take the train of life, you see a bunch of stops. You see them, you admire them. And then you gotta stop and it's yours. And you have to leave. And you look back on the train ride and you're like, dude, it was a beautiful ride. It was a beautiful way. Oh, there were some places that were shitty. Oh, there were some stuff that I wouldn't have taken. Oh, there was moments in my life that I regret. But at the end, I had the train ride of my life. That's a beautiful thing. I'm emotional today. I don't know why. I love you guys. Truly do. I sincerely do. Have a nice day. Take it easy. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself most of all. Be yourself. Be weird. Don't be afraid to be weird. Look, I'm weird. Okay, for the people that says we already knew, thanks a lot. But yeah, be yourself. No matter what it is in tell. I want to be fucking crazy and insane. Be crazy and insane. But be you. Be you.